Hi, it's Luke from ezprotection.com.au here. Today we're going to have a look at how to remove the cryptic bot, which is also known as the white screen virus. This particular virus is quite difficult to deal with, as you'll see here in a moment. When you start the computer, it starts normally and then it just goes to a white screen. From that screen, it takes away your start bar and everything else, and there's really not much that you can do. You can't right click on anything, you can't hit your start menu, there's really not much to be done. One of the annoying features of this particular virus is that when you restart the computer, if you start in safe mode, as you can see, it starts and then it shuts down again immediately and then restarts as normal Windows again back with the same problem. So restarting in safe mode doesn't help you in this case. Not without doing a bit of a trick. So here I've turned off the computer and I've pressed F8 so that we can go to the boot menu. If you start with safe mode with a command prompt, it won't cause the same problem. You'll be able to actually enter a command and then we'll be able to clear the virus out. The method that we're going to use to remove this virus is to actually go to a previous restore point. You need to have a restore point to go back to. A restore point is a point in time when you knew that things worked. So, once it's booted up to safe mode, you'll see this screen, and in here, you just type rstrui.exe, and that's your uh, system restore point. You can either just go back to the most recent, or you can choose a particular point in time. It's often a good idea to choose a particular point in time, because at times, viruses will create their own restore point, and restoring it to that point where there was a virus on obviously won't clear it out. So click next and then finish. The computer will warn you that you can't interrupt this process, so just let it do its work. It will change these settings, restart, and then hopefully we'll be back to a computer that won't be fixed, but we will be able to get back into the computer to do the rest of the work to fix it. And we can see that we can now get to the desktop and it looks healthy again. So what we're going to do is run a tool. Um, it's a free tool from ESET. You can download it at esetprotection.com.au, hovering over the home users and then clicking, clicking on the online scanner. You can just follow the prompts, install the software, and it will run a virus scan from your web browser. This is a good test to make even if you've got antivirus installed on your computer. This will mean that you're not relying on something that, that might already be compromised by the virus. This tool will both scan for viruses and it will attempt to clean them out as well. So we're going to use this tool two times. We're going to use it the first time here to be able to clear the virus. Then after restarting, just in case, uh, there's anything in the virus to cause us problems to, on a restart, we will make sure that we check it again just in case. Once the EZ Online Scanner has finished downloading, you're able to choose what options you'd like to select. And the best options we would normally say is that you scan for potentially unwanted applications as well as potentially unsafe applications and to scan the archives. You can get to that setting by clicking the uh, advanced settings on that screen as, as you could see just before. So we've started the scan and I've sped it up so that you don't have to uh, wait for it to finish. It'll take, in this case, it takes around about five minutes. So the scan's now completed and we can see that it was able to find the virus and we can also see that it was able to clean that virus from our system, which is really good news, of course. So if we have a little bit of a look here, we can see the details of the virus that it found, including what the location was and what the particular virus was that it found. 
This particular virus is stopped by our normal antivirus products. So if you're looking for something that might be a little bit stronger than what your existing antivirus product is, then, then feel free to go to our website, um, esetprotection.com.au, and, uh, and you can find a trial or you can purchase a full version if, if you'd like. So what we're going to do now is, is just the best thing to do after uh, removing any malware is to actually restart the computer and just confirm that everything's okay. So I've sped up the video here, but basically um, all I would recommend that you do is just run the same program again. So just go to esetprotection.com.au and get the free online scanner. Let it run. And then after about five minutes in this case here, we can see that it was able to clear out this virus, uh, that, that there still is no virus on this computer, which is very important because a lot of viruses uh, actually put themselves back on there. So you clear a virus, then you restart your computer and magically it returns. So the best way is obviously to check uh, when you restart the computer if it is still gone. So hopefully this has been some help to you. Um, if there's anything we can do, just let us know.